Hey, how you doing? This is Dan. Just making a little video for Lyle's Berg's um, little contest he's having. Giving away some Scream Factory Blu-rays. And I don't have any of them. But basically he wanted to know uh, a really good horror movie from the last 10 years. And what I'm going to choose out of all these. Uh, which one will I choose? See, actually, I can't just choose one. I can't choose one because I just have so many favorites. But I will go right here. Absentia. This is an awesome, awesome movie. <clears throat> um, you can get it on Amazon brand new for like a little over six bucks. It's dirt cheap. It's very underrated, in my opinion. It's... <clears throat> Excuse me. It's uh, very underrated. Um, it's a slow burn type of movie, and um, but it's got so much suspense and um, the special features um, has like a little featurette about um, the making of it and where you know how they came up with the idea and all that. Um, it's really cool because this was really done on a shoestring budget. I mean, it was, you know, they had like nothing. But it does not, as you watch it, it, it doesn't seem that way. Um, so, yeah, I definitely, definitely suggest Absentia. Um, check it out. You won't be disappointed. And I'll put that right back there. And I also wanted to mention, where the hell is it? There it is. <clears throat> Dear Mr. Gacy, uh, it stars William Forsyth as John Wayne Gacy, and this is based on a true story. It was short. This took place about shortly before he was um, put to death, and um, this guy. He's a college student and he's just fascinated with serial killers and and so what he does is write to serial killers in jail including Gacy and um, Jeffrey Dahmer and Richard Ramirez and people like that and uh, Manson too actually and but what he he wouldn't tell them who he really was he would just make him sound like um, a person that they would prey on like that individual serial killer would prey on and he actually became pretty close with John Wayne Gacy and um, like I said it's it's a true story it was based on uh, his book I forget his name Chris uh, I don't know I forget his name um, he wrote a book and that's what this movie is based on and um, I read the book and too and it's they do take some dramatic license for this movie um, but it was it's still really good and I definitely suggest you see it it's killer um, so that'll be, do it for me um, check those movies out absentia and dear Mr. Gacy alright man peace out